video, I am going to explain you about multiplexers. Now, multiplexing means transmitting a large number of information into a smaller number of channels or lines. Now, coming to this digital multiplexer is a combinational circuit that selects binary information from one of many input lines and directs into a single output line. The selection of a particular input line is controlled by a set of selection lines. Now, for any multiplexer, it is having n number of selection lines and 2 power n number of input lines and 1 output line. Now, in this video, we will learn about 2 to 1 multiplexer. Here, this is the logic diagram of 2 to 1 multiplexer. And this two are the number of input lines and one is the one output line. So here the selection line for this two to one multiplexer so n equal to one. Now based on this number of input lines two over one means two and a single output line. Now here the number of input lines we considered as I zero and I one and S zero is going to be the selection line and the output is the why? Here, based on this selection line binary bit, we are going to select either I0 input line or I1 input line. Now, in this logic diagram, this 2 to 1 multiplexer is going to consist of NOT gate, 2 AND gates, and the OR gate. Now, firstly, we will consider the selection line S0 is having 0. Now, we will transmit this x is 0 equal to 0. So here when we are applying the selection line is having 0 here. Now for the first AND gate, here x is 0 is equal to 0 means the first AND gate input is going to be 1 here and i0 is directly transmitted to another as an another input to this AND gate. And at this point for the second AND gate, one of the input is going to be 0 here. And the out next input is I1 to this second AND gate. Now, based on these inputs, the output of the AND gate is going to be I0 because we know the AND operation, nothing but multiplication operation. Now, here the second AND gate is output is going to be 0 here. Now, when we apply these two inputs to this R gate, the output Y is going to be I0. So here we got y equal to output y equal to I0 as input. Now when we are applying S0 is equal to 1 here. Now here S0 is equal to 1. So based on the selection line we here from the first entity we will receive 0 here and here we will receive 1. So by these inputs the second candidate output is going to be I1 here and the first candidate output is going to be 0 here. Now the R gate output is going to be I1. Now by this explanation, the truth table we may write this as when the selection line S0 is having 0 as binary bit, the output Y is going to be I0. Now when the S0 selection line is having 1 as binary bit, the output y is going to be i1. Now, this is the block diagram regarding this 2 to 1 multiplexer. Each of the multiplexer we may abbreviate it as MUX here. So, for this block diagram, it consists of two number of input lines i0, i1, one selection line s0, and the output y is going to be y here. For the logic equation, for this 2 to 1 multiplexer, we may write in this manner based on this logic diagram. See here, here S0 is complemented to this first AND gate. So here we considered as S0 complement and I0 as input. And for this, here S0 is directly connected to the second AND gate. So S0 and I1. Now these two outputs are connected to all gateways. We done here R operation, that means addition operation. 
Now, this is the regarding logic expression for this two to one multiplexer. Now, this completes the explanation of two to one multiplexer operation. Thank you.